بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں ہوں امتیاز احمد اور آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں سس ٹیکس ٹوڈے وی شل ڈسکس کمپیوٹر سائنس گریڈ ٹین چپٹر ون ایکسرسائز ایکسٹینسیو کوسچنز لیٹس بیگن کوسچن نمبر تھری ڈسکرائب دا سٹیپس انوالڈ ان دا پرابلم سالونگ سو دیز آر دا سٹیپس سٹیپ نمبر ون ڈیفائن دا پرابلم اینڈ سٹیپ نمبر ٹو اینالائز دا پرابلم اینڈ سٹیپ نمبر تھری planning the solution step number four identification of candid solution and step number five selection of the best solution so these are the five steps which are the part of problem solving techniques so first step is defining the problem defining the problem means read the statement carefully and get as much as information is possible in the statement of the problem so how can you do this one first of all read the problem statement carefully step number two find out what the problem asks to do obtain the required information and then understand what calculation is required in the problem example a person is unhappy with the service or product purchased from a company so this is a general type of problem and in this there is one keyword unhappy with the service or product so try to find out what is the reason of the unhappiness of the customer problem number two finding average marks of a student it means we shall get some marks as input and then we shall calculate the average so the problem tells about the calculation this is average and you will apply the formula of average and then you will calculate the average of the problem step number two analyzing the problem this stage is called the problem analysis at this stage all the possible information is gathered so that the solution of the problem can be found out so when you are analyzing the problem these are the steps you should perform number one first of all is it possible to solve the problem on computer yes or no if yes then go to the next if no then the problem stops here so you cannot solve the problem on the computer and if it is computer based problem then what to be done to find out the solution of the problem and number three what is the proper sequence of the step to solve the problem and step number four what are the required input and desired output number five how many solutions are possible candidate solutions and which solution is the best solution and why it is best how solution will be implemented when we are coming to the planning of the problem it means this is creative stage after an analysis we shall go to go to go to the creative stage of the problem solving at this stage the required solution is divided into steps these steps are arranged in proper sequence that will solve the problem and you know this is called algo you will write the algo after the algo you will uh, write the you will draw the flow chart okay and after the flow chart you will keep the flow chart in front of you and you will start coding at the end of lecture we i shall also try to show you how to find out uh coding solution with the help of flow chart the next one is the candid solution the candid solution means more than one solutions of the same problem but using the different methods what is the candid solution the solution which produces the correct result but the algorithm is different all the possible solution of problems that produce the correct results are known as the candid solution to find out the candid solution a computer based problem is solved using the different methods so you will not use only one algorithm you will use more than one algorithm to find out the correct result so candid solution means find out different but correct results and number 5 selecting the best solution when you will find out more than one solutions definitely you will go for selecting the best solution what are the criteria for the selection of the best solution number one the solution is working 
really fast and number three the cost and number four complexity when we are talking about the speed it means the program should execute efficiently and it should produce the required results in lesser time as compared to other solutions number two cost it means selected solution should be cost effective ये बहुत महंगा नहीं होना चाहिए इन टर्म्स ऑफ फाइनेंस पैसे ज़्यादा ना लगें एंड सेकंड थिंग कंप्यूटिंग पावर ज़्यादा ना लगे कंप्यूटिंग पावर में सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज़ होती है रैम द प्रोसेसर एंड द स्टोरेज एंड देयर आफ्टर इफ इट इज़ नेटवर्क बेस्ड इट शुड बी एफिशिएंट ऑन द नेटवर्क एज वेल कम्प्लेक्सिटी कम्प्लेक्सिटी मीन्स इट शुड बी सिंपल इट शुड नाट बी कम्प्लिकेटेड it should contain the minimal instructions less number of lines of code and easy to follow simple steps so these are the three criteria for what for selecting the best solution number 1 speed number 2 cost and number 3 complexity so the next is the good questions and they are a bit practical you will have to do something basically the question number 10 is convert the algorithm of questions 4 to 9 in the flow chart okay so i did what question 4 flow chart question number 10 10 is here write an algorithm to calculate the area of a rectangle for given breadth and length so what should we do? should we do first of all we shall plan the solution and planning input required output and processing what is input see the section to calculate the area so this is the output of a rectangle given something so this is the input breadth and length is the input the area is output area of rectangle is output and how we shall process it multiply the breadth by the length you will apply the simple formula what is the algorithm short this is here input length and breadth this is here and area is equal to length multiply by breadth simple rectangle here area is equal to these are variables okay length is variable breadth is variable and see area new variable length is coming here multiply by breadth it is coming here and output area it comes here and finally stop the program number 5 write an algorithm that inputs length in inches and calculates and prints the centimeters so read the statement again write algorithm that inputs length so input number 1 length input number 2 there is no other input so what will be the unit it will be in inches and calculate and print the length in centimeter so this is the output let us start input length in inches required output length in centimeters and what is the processing multiply the length by 2.54 because this is the formula one length uh, one inch is equal to 2.4 for 2.54 cm by the way if centimeters are given you will simply divide by the 2.54 now let's write the algorithm start okay input length so for input we are using this di diagram length in inches calculate centimeters so this is processing and step number 3 output centimeters output centimeters and then stop your flow chart so done question number 6 write an algorithm that input marks and prints the message pass or fail passing marks are 33 so there is some sort of comparison okay let's see what is the input plan the solution input marks required output any of these message pass or fail but depending on what this criteria now processing compare the marks 
if marks greater than or equal to 33 then print pass otherwise print test let's start the algorithm step one start step number two the sorry and input marks step number two compare the marks if marks greater than equal to 33 yes print pass no fail and after this one there is no repetition finish question number seven write an algorithm to find the sum of given sequence what is the sequence 20 25 30 35 40 45 and so on up to 60 so the problem starts from 20 up to 60 and what is required let us see input there is no input required output sum of numbers from 20 to 60 with a step of 5 see step of 5 20 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 and so on and what is the processing add the numbers from 20 to 60 with step of 5 okay step 1 start we are going to initialize the sum with 0 and k 20 initialize sum is equal to 0 k is equal to 20 step number 2 add k to sum k is equal to 0 k is equal to 20 see sum 0 is equal to 20 so there is no difference and then uh, increase k by 5 after this one k you need 20 plus 5 what is this one 25 and already what was the value of sum is equal to sum plus k sum was already 20 now it is 45 but now it will increase by 5 because k is equal to k plus 1 k is equal to uh, not 1 k is equal to k plus 5 so with each iteration the value of k will be increased by 5 and after this increment the sum will be sum sum will be calculated sum is equal to sum plus k and how we shall check if the value of k is less than or equal to 60 till the time we do not read to 60 the value value of k doesn't read to 60 then do what sum is equal to sum plus k and k is equal to k plus 5 jis waqt 60 se bada ho jayega तो क्या हो जाएगा स्टेटमेंट हमारी फॉल्स हो जाएगी ठीक है जी और अगेन रिपीटेशन खत्म हो जाएगी एंड द नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी परफॉर्मड एंड द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज आउटपुट द सम प्रिंट द सम एंड फाइनली स्टॉप योर फ्लो चार्ट दिस इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ योर प्रॉब्लम क्वेश्चन नंबर 8 राइट एन एल्गोरिथम टू फाइंड आउट द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ गिवन नंबर हाउ 1 multiply by 3 multiply by 5 multiply by 7 9 11 30 listen guys we are starting with 1 and we are adding plus 2 is equal to 3 and when this is 3 we are adding once again 2 this is equal to 5 once again adding 2 it will become 7 so we shall keep on adding 2 in one variable and we shall multiply the same variable with the product so what is the input there is no input product of because everything is given already product of odd numbers from 1 to 30 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 16 and so on these are called odd numbers multiply the odd number from 1 to 30 this is the result uh, sorry this is the processing what is the algorithm start and then initialize product is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 because if you multiply by 1 by 1 the result will be 1 there will be no difference product is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 and now product is equal to product multiply by k product is equal to product multiply by k the value of k is equal to 1 this is also 1 so result will be also 1 next time k is equal to k plus 2 already k was 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 now 3 multiply by 1 and so on 
tell the time it is greater than r equal to 13 not greater than it is less than r equal to 13 if it is less than r equal to 13 then repeat the project when it is greater go to the next one okay this is wrong so k is less than equal to 13 then repeat otherwise go to the next step and the next step is print the product and thereafter we have given the steps step 2 otherwise go to step number 5 step 2 is the multiplication and step 5 is the output of the product and thereafter normally the product will terminate Question number 9, the last one, write an algorithm to print multi multiplication table of a number in reverse order. Okay, so input any number to print multiplication table, the required output multiplication table of given number up to some range, up to some range. Range can be a static one, for example here it is 12. Processing initialize some variables to 12 because it is reverse order we shall go from 12 11 10 9 8 up to 1 multiply by that number whatsoever we shall enter okay now step number one read a number this is stored in number num this is stored in variable num to print the table of multiplication this will be the message to the user and step number two initialize k to 12 because we shall print in the reverse order and step number three find the product product is equal to num multiply by k step four output num comma k comma product like this one 12 11 multiply by 5 so it will be equal to 50 55 so this is num and this is k and this is product num k product and thereafter k is equal to k minus 1 so we are decreasing the k with each iteration by 1 first it will be 12 then it will be 11 then 10 9 8 and so on and finally we shall check if it is less than or equal to 1 then go to step number 3 otherwise go to step number 7 and the step number seven what we are performing on step seven stop and step number three the calculation find the product num is equal to num multiply by k and finally we shall stop it till the time if it is equal greater than or equal to one when it will become less than one it will stop so let us write an algorithm you uh, write a code using the same problem we are going to open the dev c++ this is our flowchart i am going to file new and source file so include stdio.h while name start the program read it input number so we are going to define variables integer type one is num we shall enter it and second is k we are keeping it 12 third one is product and we are going to make it equal to 1 fine now we are giving message to user print f enter a number fine terminate the statement and we are entering numbers k and f what is the type of the number it is digit okay and there to store it in the num variable num capital n u n fine and 
then uh, we haven't defined product is equal to 1 now we are uh, care is equal to 12 we done now product is equal to while while p v r product while not product k k greater than equal to 1 while k greater than equal to 1 then do what do number 1 product is equal to is equal to num multiply by k second thing and then output the product print f the product is is the product person d par num comma person d par k and then person d par num give the comma here write num comma k comma product now decrease k is equal to k minus 1 finish let us try now go to execute compile and run it will ask you to save it we are going to create it done and it should be p code yeah. now let us execute again Compile and run. Now there is no mistake. Make it 12. Now let us make it 10. So 10, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this was the reverse order. And why it comes? Let's remove this backslash. In. Again, compile and run. So we are making 12. Now see the result is coming in one line. So this is because of backslash n. F11 again. So this is fine. This is the end of chapter 1. I hope you learned it. Thanks for watching. For your question, you can comment. For your queries you can write the questions and if you not have already subscribed please subscribe and like thank you so much inshallah see you with a video of chapter number 